I've had a, uh, a very nice uh, bird's eye view, if you will, of um, the changes in lung cancer treatment and actually diagnosis um, over, um, say, 25 years or so. And some of the watershed moments, uh, in my opinion, um, have been uh, related to the treatment. When I first started treating lung cancer patients in the early 90s, the average survival uh, for those patients with metastatic disease was somewhere in the range of six to eight months. It used to be lung cancer one size fits all and that's changed dramatically in that lung cancer actually, among all of the cancers, probably is as refined in terms of subsets as any other malignancy, and also subsets that we utilize to direct therapy. So things such as EGFR mutated patients, the ALK positive uh, patients are two great examples of using targeted agents. The changes that we've seen and um, the identification of various important pathways and targets, if you will, has, has come um, by a, a dedicated effort by scientists worldwide, including some of our wonderful scientists, um, Roche as well. Roche has been involved in lung cancer for 20 years or so, at least. We currently, Roche currently, uh, has four established treatments um, in lung cancer um, and actively looking at over 10 more uh, treatments. Um, we have some of the best uh, research scientists in the world that are actively working on newer um, agents and newer um, targets for these agents. And so this is something that we are fully committed to, uh, something that we, we've done, we believe, um, that we're, we're proud to say that we've done well, but that we're looking to do better um, and to continue our progress because there are many patients who um, we have benefited, but many, many more that need to be benefited uh, um, with, uh, in their treatment of lung cancer. I would say in the next three to five years, we will be seeing combinations of therapies uh, using the, immuno, um, uh, the, the cancer immunotherapy backbone, and we will see that going forward. I also think that um, we will also uh, be identifying newer targets in a non-immunotherapy realm. And then there will be a surprise that no one will have even thought of as of right now, and something that will appear in um, the next decade um, that is another uh, totally different concept that uh, uh, maybe a few f very smart people might be thinking about now, but in general something that will catch us uh, unaware, much as hap has happened every decade. One of the large, uh, major changes over the past 25 years um, is being able to offer hope, uh, and more than hope, because when I first started, that's all we were offering was hope. The treatments were not very good, and it was more hope. Uh, but now, uh, there's, um, one still has the compassion, and the hope, but there's actually options for these patients. And you know in your heart and mind that you actually have things that can help these lung cancer patients.